If you've ever played Team Fortress 2, you most likely seen one of these orange texted weapons whenever you die. Is it called strange weapons and I like them? Because every time you get points on that weapon, it updates and you can see how many points you've gotten with that weapon. Pretty much like Star Trek weapons in CSGO. Now on TF2, you meet tons of weird people all the time. And some of these people, they have thousands upon thousands of kills on these weapons. And I always wondered, how do you get this many kills? Do they hack? Are they really good? Well, there's tons of links to get kills easily, but I wanted to try something I've never tried or seen before. Getting 1000 kills in a single day. Now, I didn't know if this was possible at all, which is why I wanted to try. And just to make sure if it even was possible, I tried to get 500 what? kills in one stream, on. which I was able to do. Well then, this is how I got 1000 kills in 24 hours. Also, check out my Twitch channel where I stream this whole thing. Now when I started this challenge, I already knew which class I was going to play. He's big, he's bald, he's Russian. You already know what I'm talking about. Heavy weapons guy. Yep. Now I don't know if that was the best choice for this challenge, but if I'm going through the pain, I want to play at least my favorite class. So the beginning of the run was smooth. We were chilling on Turbine. Everyone on the enemy team was average. You don't really meet any tryhards on Turbine or CTF for that matter. It's just tons of weird people. Oh yeah, let me clarify. We were doing this on casual servers, so we had to go through a lot of spinbot servers, which was not the fun. But in general, it was fairly easy to get kills and capture the flag. I mean, I had medics on me at most times, and with the sandwich equipped, it was pretty hard for me to die. Now this is the part where I almost started to feel bad, because of all the spawn camping and the domination you're doing to these new players that clearly haven't played this game before. But I had to complete my goal and I wasn't going to stop. And I was not planning on joining one of those servers where there's just FK people and you get kills for your strange weapons. Like, come on. Strange weapons don't really matter that much, but some people battle them quite high. At some point, I did try to join different game modes to see if I would get more kills. But <laughs> as you see here, I don't. Banana Bay? Out of all choices? I'm pretty sure I would have way more luck on Thunder Mountain, if anything, or Upward. But if you're doing this, personally, I'd say Capture the Flag is the way to go. But, I mean, <laughs> if you don't want to kill new players and draw them away from this game, and maybe that's not the way to go. But, if you want to get kills fast, Capture the Flag is the way to go. Okay, 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 that's enough. That's enough. Moving on to the next part of the video. I don't know about you, but when you're doing the same thing over and over and over, it gets a bit boring after a while. At playing Turbine games from games, it was kind of killing me. I was like, am I going to be able to do this? But I didn't want to give up. I knew it was possible, and I already reached halfway by this point, which was at the 5 hour mark, okay? I'm not the best at TF2, I played for the vibes. So surely I'm getting 100 kills every hour. Not the case. I <laughs> I started falling behind at 600 kills and then at 700 kills. So it wasn't looking too good. I was probably going to be here for a lot longer than I thought. But I did not want to give up so I kept on going. Also in this challenge you've seen me using this Australian Pomisau. I didn't own one at the time. Someone let me borrow it for this challenge, which was very generous. So once I got 1000 kills, I was gonna send it back to the owner. Now I'm getting to the last part of the challenge. Alright, so we were almost there. 750 kills at 8 hours and 30 minutes. To me, this was the longest part in the challenge. 
We were so close and the kill counter was going up so lower. Before, at 600 kills and 700, I was 40 minutes behind every 100 kills. But now, by the time I reached 800 kills, I was at the 9 hour mark, so I was 1 hour behind. And getting to 900 kills, it took me an hour and 30 minutes. After the match I reached 900 kills on, I got into a match where I got 81 kills, which was enough for me to complete this challenge. This was an interesting experience to say the least, and after 11 hours and 28 minutes of playing Turbine, Banana Bay, Payload, I completed the challenge. Let's go! Thank you for watching this till the end, I hope you found this somewhat interesting, and like I said in the beginning of the video, I stream on Twitch, so check that out if you're interested. Anyways, take care everyone.